In part A, we're asked to verify that x equals negative 3 is a solution to the algebraic equation 5x minus 2 equals 8x plus 7. And this word verify is very important. So if we are asked to verify, and then what that means is that the given value is a solution, we just need to show that when I replace the variable with that value that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So let's see what that looks like. So that's going to be 5 times negative 3 minus 2 equals 8 times negative 3 plus 7. So the left-hand side, negative 15 minus 2 equals negative 24 plus 7. Negative 15 minus 2 is negative 17. Negative 24 plus 7 is negative 17. So we have verified that when I plug in negative 3 on both sides, I get the same result. Therefore, negative 3 is a solution to the given algebraic equation. Part B asks the question, is m equal negative 1 a solution to the algebraic equation m plus 9 equals 3m plus 5? And that means that we have to determine, we don't know ahead of time, to determine if negative 1 is a solution, we are going to replace m with negative 1. And then we are going to ask ourselves if, after doing that, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So there's a question mark I'm putting over the equal sign. So negative 1 plus 9 is a positive 8. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 5, so we still are not sure. Left-hand side is just 8. Right-hand side, negative 3 plus 5, that gives 2. 8 does not equal 2, so is m equal negative 1 a solution to the given equation? And the answer is no. Part C, is a equal 4? a solution to the algebraic equation 0.5a minus 1.6 equals 0 0.4. So again, we don't know, we're not asked to verify, we're asked to determine. So let's replace a with 4 on both sides of the equation and then see if we get the same result. So I'm going to put a question mark here. So 0.5 times 4 minus 1.6. Let's look at a way we could do this easily on our calculator. 0 0.5 times 4 minus 1.6 does in fact equal 0.4. So because 0.4 equals 0.4 and technically that's 0 0.4 for both of those then is a equal 4 a solution to the equation? And the answer is yes.